five years ago or six years ago, I would never, never have imagined that uh, I would make a living out of traveling. When I was 25, I never left Europe, never. I mean, there's so much to see, and I really wanted to, to know, just to know, to see, to discover, and that is definitely what drives me. I needed to, to see the world. I'm Johan Lolos. I like to call myself a travel photographer. I guess in 2018, everything has been explored, everything has been seen, so I'm not exploring. I'm discovering things for myself that I like to share for others that maybe one day will want to, to do the same. It's a Man, it's so crazy. So vast, so dry. And the oranges, the blacks, the yellows, I mean, honestly, I've never seen something like that before. It's really about taking a chance and being bold. Five years ago, I was a student in PR in Brussels. No girlfriend, uh, I had no kids, no house, no car. But that's what my parents wanted for me. Uh, not for me, I mean, I wasn't feeling ready at all for that. Curiosity was consuming me so much. So I just took my chance, bought a one-way ticket to Australia and see what would happen. I knew that if I didn't take that opportunity at that time of my life, I was just going to miss it. This is my very first time in Morocco, so a really new experience for me. I just love the remoteness of this place, you know? That's where I feel being alive. It really digs my curiosity. Johan. Because, you know, like, the family we met living in the caves, I would love to spend days, if not weeks, with them, learn how they, they live there, why they live there, and uh, trying to document what I see. It's joli. Très joli. Yeah, this really what makes me keep traveling every time to try to learn more about the cultures and share that. Before, I was more about taking photos of the most photogenic place. With years, I'm trying more to document the reality. Maybe it's just about maturity. It just satisfies me much more. Probably one of the best things of being a photographer is it helps you so much for social connections. Traveling and especially meeting locals, it has changed me a lot. Made me more humble. People all around the world have so many good things to share. It makes you realize how insignificant our worries can be in our Western world, you know? Ça fait combien de temps que vous vivez ici? Longtemps que vous vivez ici. C'est vrai? Oui. Tantôt, quand il euh, y a une tempête de sable, oui. vous faites quoi alors? Vous restez sous la tente? Restez sous la tente. Tu t'imagines euh, vivre dans la ville ou non, pour non, toi c'est le non, désert? Non, le désert. Pourquoi? Toujours et rester tranquille, pas comme les villes. C'est calme, ouais. ouais J'adore aussi quand c'est calme. Something that describes me the best is uh, I'm never fully satisfied. I have this desire and I would love to live five centuries to be able to do everything that I want to. And what I want is to see the whole world. And I'm never gonna get there, never. I just have to live with, with that.
I know that my life is going to still change in the future. You know, uh, I just bought a house. We're probably going to have kids with my, with my partner. And everything was gonna, is going to change, for sure. But we still want to, to travel, and, and this is not going to stop us. It, the curiosity will still be there, you know. The desire of finding and discovering new places is always going to be there.